Hey guys, Ken back again with a quick little video and today I thought I'd do something a little different. I've always been a big fan of Mark Allister's series, uh, Class of 1984 and Class of 1999. Um, I know there was some news a few years ago that there was a remake that he was trying to get in the works and I always felt like there's a different, more interesting direction you can take with uh, that series. So for anybody who's not familiar, uh, Class of 1984 is a uh, movie that was made in 1982. It's a futuristic dystopian movie taking place two years in the future, and at that point, uh, juvenile delinquency has become this rampant thing, and it's basically a, a straightforward revenge thriller. A new teacher comes to the school, learns about this violent gang who's basically running the school, and then eventually, after he's pushed too far, he has to seek revenge. Highly recommend that one. If you haven't checked that out, Perry King's amazing. Timothy Van Patten gives a hell of a performance. The the entire movie is brilliantly cast from top to bottom. Hands down my favorite Roddy McDowell performance. Well, you simply cannot afford to fail this class. Now what is the answer? And then Class of 1999 is the follow-up, um, which takes things a little bit further into the future. I think that one was made in 1990, so it's again a futuristic look at what's happening with the idea of juvenile delinquency. And in this one, the whole idea is that it's gotten so out of hand, the government has now created cyborg teachers to have to deal with the students, and it kind of, they go on the fritz, and it's a very chopping mall-esque kind of setup. But another one with, like, brilliant cast, Malcolm McDowell, Pam Greer, John Ryan from the It's Alive movies, he's really awesome in that one. So to a certain extent with those two, you get to the point of robot teachers, cyborg teachers, where can you go from there? And I think the best thing that you could do is, like, just go for broke at that point. We've already had cyborg teachers, Let's just push it and go all out. So my concept would basically be we're further into the future than we are right now, say, I don't know, 2034 or something like that. We're in a future where like adults are having to live under, you know, underground bunkers or something like that because the teenagers have just taken over. And the idea would be to, okay, well, we have to turn to time travel. Like we're totally fucked where we are right now. So the idea would be to go back to 1977 where the supposed inciting incident would have happened that would have started this kind of chain reaction of juvenile delinquency getting out of control, spreading throughout the country, leading us into the events of 1984 and uh, 1999. So then that could also be an interesting way to do like a semi-remake of Over the Edge, which is another one of my favorite Teenage Rebellion movies. But basically that would be the inciting incident in 1977. You know, something similar to that where um, a group of teenagers kind of blew up a small town and stories kind of spread and that's how it started to spread around the country leading into the two previous movies. So I don't know, just kind of, I think that would be a really interesting way to go, just kind of see where that would take us. Um, maybe a young Stegman um, shows up at some point and he's living in that town that has the main inciting incident and he ends up moving to the next town and kind of starting the chain from there leading into 84. You could have all kinds of different interesting tie-ins and nods, but I think that's the only logical way to go with the series. I feel like a remake is kind of a step backwards. Go for broke and just go nuts with it. Well, thank you guys for watching this quick little uh, ramble type thing. Uh, if you guys dig it, let me know. Got a couple other cool videos and projects in the works, so stay tuned for that. See you next time.